Alex Vans again with ModZoo at CES 2015. This time I'm here with Andrew uh, from Ice Dragon Cooling. Hi, everybody. You want to talk about some of the new products you guys sure, have sure. coming out? Um, this year we've got two new things in the works. One of them we've uh, been able to reduce the Ice Dragon Cooling down to a concentrate, which will really help out mostly with the shipping costs. That's this little guy right here. There. And it also will let the end user sort of modify the Ice Dragon Cooling. You know, we'll send you a, a chart that tells you to mix it. It's a three to one ratio. But you can change that if you want to try a more dense version or a less dense version for you know, maybe some heat transfer enhancement that we are not aware of yet. Now, is there going to be any kind of pricing difference between the concentrate and your standard product? Well, I can't answer that, mostly because you know, it'll help pricing for shipping. And when we sell, for example, 100 bottles to somewhere, you know, they pay us for the 100 bottles, and then they pay us for the shipping. Right. And to recoup that cost, of end, or the reseller has to put that shipping cost into their price. I definitely know that game. Right, but I, you know, I can't comment on whether or not they'll drop the price. If I would hope they'd drop the price just to be nice, but they could keep it the same. But um, well, you know, you're still getting the same product. Yeah, you're getting the same product, but also it'll be cheaper for the end user, even if they keep the price the same because the shipping will go down. So you won't exactly. pay as much to ship it. And then we also have the black, and we've we've uh, named this as cheesy as could be Warrior, and it's a uh, it's a new nano fluid. We're still doing a lot of QA on it. We can't control the, the particle size, and that's, that's become an issue. When we first tested it, it clogged everything right off the bat. And then we cleaned it up, ran it through some filters, and we still had clogging, and it's hard to find a you know, one micron filter. But we ran it through some paint filters that are pretty, pretty strict, and that took out a lot of them, and it's been flowing for two days now in our test loop. Now we just have to work on the thermal abilities of it and get it down. We like the black. We've had people requesting black, and and you know with white, you know when people want to dye it different colors and stuff like that, the first thing I tell them is it's a lot of white paint, and you know someone says, hey, I want to get blood red, and you're not going to get blood red out of that. You'll just end up with pink. pink. Yeah. yeah, pink, light blue, you know something like that. And I say, just remember, it's a lot of white paint. Now you also have this uh, this massive uh, twisted copper pipe behind us here. Uh, what do you got going on there? Well, years ago I worked for a, a company called Cryotech. And we were doing some low temperature cooling for Intel. And this is what we used in our refrigeration system. So I knew it was out there. And we had another computer company talk to us about making a cooling system without the radiator. They said, we want to see if we can get rid of the radiator. And I said, well, you know, maybe this twisted tube will work. So I built this. First, I cooled an I-7. And it looked similar to that, except I was just serpentining uh, the twisted tube. And that cooled it just fine. But then I was asked to do a little more stout chip. So I got an 8650 quad core, and I put in a little 2600 GTX card. And I ran Prime 95 on it for a couple days. And if I remember correctly, I was at 42 degrees on the CPU, so I was happy. And it's just, you know, it's messy, but it's proof of concept. They're not supposed to be neat. You know, I'll let the, the QA and the manufacturing engineers take care of making it look pretty. But it can definitely be made look pretty. I think it'd be a nice looking system. Well, like I was talking about earlier though, with the twisted tubing, a lot of case manufacturers are starting to open up the space in the front of the case and the top of the case. And that seems like an, just the perfect area to just start serpentining that kind of tubing and gets the radiator out of the case, frees up some space, and you don't have to have tubes running everywhere. I mean, the stuff is, is uh, fairly thin. It's great, you know, it's, uh, it's not quite as flexible as, as flex tubing. You know, I, I can't just sit there and wiggle it. So you have to sort of bend it outside. I had to you know, eyeball everything. I actually twisted that around a flashlight. And, and it, that's the only hard part about it. You have to make it fit. I can't put it in there and then make it fit. I have to make it fit before I put it in there. And that's probably the only complicated stuff. And of course, I've, you know, I clear coated the, the copper so it wouldn't oxidize, but that's something you'd have to worry about too if you're gonna have it in your system for a while turn green. But I like it. I think it looks pretty neat. It's gotten a lot of interest. You know, just but proof of concept, that's all it is. That's what I tell them. Well, I look forward to seeing more products from you guys in the future and just seeing how this stuff pans out. I mean, you always seem to be working on something, and, you know, it's either it's either in progress or, or close to production or it's, you know, some other crazy idea you have going. And so there's, there's really uh, not a, there's, none of the information from you guys is ever dull. You always have something interesting to show off. Well, that's good. I'm glad everybody, I'm glad you like it. It's, <laughs> it's good seeing you out here again. It's good seeing you too. Thanks.